Hey guys, welcome back. Today we want to talk about the potential ban list coming up. This should be any day now, so I want to make the prediction today so that I don't miss out the ban list. We can accept uh, or expect a quite a big one because it's after the Worlds, after the next, last Worlds we also had a big one and they didn't want to hit, at least uh, this is how it seemed, didn't want to hit uh, Snackers Viking or Jubel before that, but I think that we... Yeah, we'll see some hits to uh, these decks now. Um, I also think that this will probably be the only two decks that will be touched in any way. Then again, I have some sleeper picks at the end of the video for other important decks that might come to the meta, to Master Rule, meta to our game of Master Rule. And yeah, I have talked about and we have looked at the statistics from the World Championship uh, showing us that Snakers Viking was the most played deck after that. Jubel and Jubel was the deck with the best win rate percentage. If you have not seen that video, go check out in the right corner um, but yeah without further ado let's start off with Jubel here and let's talk about the um, yeah, hits that we could definitely see so one of the hits that we uh, I think could see is Nightmare Throne Nightmare Throne is a pretty much a no-brainer one of the best cards in the entire game not only giving you the option to early on summon a phantom of Jubel um, but also giving you the option to search your starter and then in your combo give you additional bodies because if you destroy Jubel then you get more Jubels I think a Nightmare Throne putting this to one would be a very good hit then again this is an ultra rare so i'm not quite sure whether they want to do this normally they don't really want to hit the ultra rares but sometimes they do we have seen this with tier limits for example i think nightmare throne to one would be one of the best hits honestly but we will have to see phantom of you is another one that is a no-brainer in my opinion you can make this multiple times each turn you can also use this as material to link climb up into i don't know the unchained engine or whatever you need this body for you can also go for an Appaloosa if you know the combo this is very very strong and the ability to remake this every turn um is insane also, and this is something to um, not forget, this is also helpful because this shuffles back Jubel into your deck and this allows you to bring back Jubel out onto the field by destroying your, uh, not Phantom of Jubel, but Spirit of Jubel. So this is not only a monster negate that you can establish early on, but this is also a card that gives back resources into your deck and gives you more bodies just because this was used or summoned. This is a really insane card and I think if we want to uh, basically make this deck as fair as it gets, then we would definitely need to hit Phantom of Jubel. Um, I think Nightmare Throne is a good hit, but I think Phantom of Jubel would be the hit that makes the deck less toxic the most. So we could see this going to one or maybe to two. Um, I think to one would be definitely a nice hit. Jubel would still be strong to two. I don't not, I'm not sure whether this changes a lot because um, using two of this in your early starting combo that works, but only having one, then it's a problem. Then you can only make one shuffle back once and you can't make a second one. So you can't use this as a material, which means you are more vulnerable to nip so i think two one would be very nice and giving us back two ultra recruiting materials so i don't really see it another card that i i just um, clicked away i think is opening of the spirit gates we often see a master rule doing the same thing as does uh, the tcg or the ocg uh, mostly the ocg and the only hit that we have to compare this to is in the tcg we have opening of the spirit gates at one which is not only one of the best starters getting you your dark beckoning beast but can also if for example you are stuck with your spirit of Jubel in the hand right so with um, so that you're aware this card here if you have this in your hand and you have an opening of the spirit gaze then you can just discard a card the spirit of Jubel and then summon the spirit of Jubel so this also helps you enhance uh, where you are stuck with some of your normally bricks but this also can generate additional bodies for free basically giving you the ability to link climb up into for example an Appaloosa or the unchained package so opening of the spirit gates is not only strong um, because of the fact that it can search the dark beckoning beast starter but also because of the other effects it has and then it can it can also re-add another opening of the spirit gate or also a nightmare pain if this is in the graveyard if you control a level 10 monster so it has so many for free by, by the way there's so many crazy effects that i think this would also be a great great hit putting this to one then we could also see a hit at the unchained stuff maybe unchained so lord of yama will i don't know leave or go to one this uh, one i think is a bit less likely this would destroy the uh, unchained deck which didn't really do anything wrong which isn't that strong so this is why i do not really think this will happen this would be a nice hit to you because then you can't really uh, access your unchained um, stuff anymore and we will then probably play this without unchained but i don't think that they will basically attack unchained just because of you and then we have some saudi lotus which is basically from the idea same as with the nightmare throne by the way guys let me know in the comments what you think what do you think 
will get hit. What do you think of my hits yet? Also, if you like my videos, please consider subscribing, hitting the thumbs up and the notification bell. This would help out a lot. Thank you, guys. So Samsara Reload is basically the same as Nightmare Throne, but worse. So hitting Samsara Reloaders to one is definitely the um, yeah softer hit, if you want to call it. You don't need more than one Samsara Reloaders. You just want more than one Samsara Reloaders because this makes it more consistent. So this would only be a consistency hit. Having access to one Samsara Reloaders still works. You can still search it with your Nightmare Throne but you will open it a less often in your hand which is definitely a hit so um, there are a few things that and i've shown you these could be hit here when it comes to jubel um, i think the most likely ones would be opening of the spirit gates and the nightmare throne honestly or maybe the samsari lotus just because this is a super rare and don't really expect the phantom uh, being hit here and also don't really expect unchained but these are potential options and then obviously we have to talk about the other big one in the room the snake ice fire king and thing that you could do is put this bonfire to one to lower consistency and it seems to be the case that they just want to lower consistency with this entire snaker engine and don't really want to hit it i think this is a card that will go to one at some point tcg still has it at three ocg and md have it at two you could put this at one decreasing uh, the consistency even more and we are at a point in which you definitely can feel the consistency issues but then again as you can see right here we have snake eyes fiendsmith that will come in the future and then we also have the azamina stuff so there's a lot of support coming for the snake ice deck and even getting away some of the consistency pieces will not kill this deck um, so uh, killing this deck would require some other hits that we will talk about we could also see the star going to something as you can see right here this is still at three in every format we have wanted at one which is definitely the stronger hit than the the star because wanted can also work with the original sinful spoils but uh, putting the the star to one for example would definitely also lower consistency then again you see a lot of decks in master duel at the current moment only playing the star at two so uh, remains to be seen how impactful that would be uh, these are the consistency hits i would say and now let's talk about some more like game or, or deck killing hits so for example uh, there was a lot of talk about uh, the snake aspen birch deck being hit in the tcg so not being hit to one but being forbidden this obviously would be very very big because then you could no longer like have this on your opponent's turn float into two more bodies you could no longer summon an ip mascarina from the spell and trap zone you could no longer put one in your spell and trap zone you could no longer use this to clear your opponent's board by putting something in the spell trap zone and you would also no longer be possible to uh, summon more buddies with this with, which is one of the best mechanics in the entire deck snake as from birch dragon going to uh, forbidden would still keep the engine intact i think and with the additions of the fiends stuff and then later on the azamina stuff for snake eyes i think we are still fine but this is then definitely not as oppressive as it is right now the other um, really impactful um hit and oh i clicked this away also give me a sec we will quickly reopen this up would be original sinful spoils not only because of the shuffle back effect but just because this bridges into the fire king line for example or in any other level one for example also in rescue as rescue as hydrant which is why i honestly think uh, if we see something on the forbidden list i think it will be the flame Birch dragon and not the original sinful spoils because the original sinful spoils gives you actually the ability to play snake eyes with other uh, decks like the snake eyes fire king like volcanic like a rescue ace uh, for for example like Infernoble noble knight or uh, the um infernoid stuff so this bridges uh, snake as into a lot of other decks which is what i think konami wants to keep it that way they don't want to destroy this engine completely and i think they like this combination um yeah abilities of this card which is why i think this is definitely one of the two that you could uh, banish and have a big impact the other one being flamberge dragon but if we see something like this which i don't really think honestly this would be a, a crazy hit after they have basically done nothing to the deck but consistency it's um, if we see one, I would guess it would be the Flamber Dragon. Then we also have Snake Ice Oak, which is definitely a safer one that you could put to Forbidden. This would hit the deck, would hurt the deck, but then again, it's not that impactful. The Oak is quite nice. You don't really want to open it in your hand, so it's kind of a brick. So if that is lost, that's no problem. But the line would definitely be worse then, but still your Ash into Poplar line is nice and would work. By the way, another option now that I think about it um, is putting the Poplar to one, like in the TCG. Um, this 
basically doesn't change anything about your first turn combo, but then makes your second turn worse because you just can't access another poplar. Also, if you open the poplar in the hand, your snake eye ash is pretty, pretty bad, which also means your bonfire is pretty, pretty bad because you can't get another poplar because it's in your hand. This would nerf the bonfire as well as the snake eye ash. So this is another possibility now that I see it. And I think one of the more likely ones. Snake eye oak, as I already talked about, I don't think this will be our hit. And then there's something, something different that could happen here. We could also hit the World Sea Dragon Zealanders Raging Phoenix package. I guess if we hit this, we would see a hit on the World Sea Dragon Zealanders being forbidden, not on the Salamangrade Raging Phoenix, because this is also a Salamangrade card. Obviously, you don't want to punish the deck for doing nothing. World Sea uh, Dragon Zealanders is not that important of a card. You play this in Marines, as you can see right here. Um, but yeah, you could definitely hit this guy, and then the kill a combo of the deck would be weaker. But I don't know if that's the big problem. I think the going first stuff is more of a problem. So I think one of the most, now that I've thought about it and I've seen it, realistic hits would probably be popular to one as this would weaken the bonfire and also the snake eye ash or something like diabelsa to one or the bonfire going to one i don't don't really see these like uh, engine breaking hits on fan birch dragon or original simple spoils but this could definitely happen and then i want to talk about uh, two other ones we have emergency teleport we have just seen if you have not seen that check that video out that ritual beast spiritual beast will uh, be releasing in the october pack and they definitely want to play this at free if they can we only have it at two so we might get this back just to make this deck stronger you can then also you could also use this for goblin biker now and that we see it uh, right here we will also get goblin biker so this would make sense boosting these archetypes and then you would boost like virtual world gold pride punk stuff like this and this would be okay because these are not that dominant and then one last thing i want to talk about is sang and summoning if we get temper dragon then i am expecting sang and summoning going to one from the beginning because you need to do something about this deck and master rule early on i think and this is like the best hit this is a very effective and strong we can see this in the TCG and OCG. Um, they definitely wanted to make this an ultra rare, I think, but uh, they can make a lot of other temper cards ultra rares. This is really strong because this is a, a spell that protects all your uh, fire dragon monsters from any card effects in your main phase one that are on the field. And uh, then also searches you, any temper monster that you want to search, very, very strong. And if uh, this is also the card that um, the uh, kill monster, the trident dragon, wants to destroy um, to gain two additional attacks, and then also because you destroyed the field spell you will gain a double the attack so this makes the trident dragon 6000 attack so if you don't have access to this then your trident dragon finisher is also a worse so this is one of the best hits they really nailed it with this uh, going to one in the tcg and ocg and uh, this is something i think if we will see temper dragon in master duel we will see right from the beginning but guys now i'm interested in your opinion let me know in the comments what you think what do you think will get hit what do you think needs to get hit and what are you excited for thanks for being here and we will see each other in the next one.